Hey, Wolf here, resident world champ and current Pokemon type expert. I've been talking a bit about the types in Pokemon, from the best combinations to the worst ones, and even how to fix the absolute worst individual type. As I've gotten more and more familiar talking about the different types in Pokemon, there was one question in particular that really started to bug me. After figuring out both the best and worst type combinations, I began to wonder, how strong are the type combinations that haven't been used yet? At the moment, there are 17 unused type combinations, including Ghost and Normal, which has been confirmed to be coming out with Legends Arceus. Of these 17 pairings, some are a bit boring, like Normal Ice and Normal Bug, but there's also some that are really interesting and unique. I wanted to spend some time looking a little closer at these unused types, and so I decided to make this video. Before we talk about the 17 specific types, we have to lay down our ground rules and methodology. First, we're talking purely about the type combination, so we won't be making any assumptions about specific Pokémon with this type pairing. For example, although most fighting types are physical attackers, for the sake of this exercise we won't assume a part fighting type is either a physical or special attacker. We also won't make any assumptions on the base stats of the Pokémon. Assume every combination we're talking about is applied to a Pokémon with the same base stats as every other combination. We also won't be making any assumptions about the move pools of the Pokémon in question, beyond assuming they have typical, normal stab moves. For example, although most Water-type Pokémon do learn Ice-type coverage moves, we won't be considering that here. Lastly, we won't be considering a specific metagame here. A metagame in Pokémon refers to which Pokémon are popular within a specific rule set. Different types are strong in different metagames, depending on the Pokémon that are popular, so sometimes Grass-types are especially strong, or Steel-types are particularly powerful. Despite being metagame agnostic, we will consider that some types are just objectively better than others. We will value a Pokémon that can hit Steel for super effective damage more than if it instead was hitting Bug. Before we actually jump into it, I would like to ask you to subscribe. Only about 3% of my audience is subscribed, and I am hoping to grow this channel to half a million subscribers, so if you're enjoying the content and want to see more, please consider subscribing. With the groundwork out of the way, we're ready to jump into the actual types themselves. This is way more types than I've had to rank before, so it was actually pretty tricky. Nevertheless, I persevered and am now ready to share with you the final list. So, without further ado, here are the 17 unused types in Pokémon ranked from worst to best. Starting off strong, uh, weak at number 17, the worst of the unused type combinations is Ice and Normal. This shouldn't be a surprise to anybody who watched my worst type combination video, as it also should up there. The reason Ice and Normal is so bad is because of the way Normal as a type interacts with other types. Adding Normal to a type defensively trades a weakness for fighting for an immunity to Ghost, and offensively only adds the ability to hit more Pokémon for neutral damage. The reason it's such an abysmal pairing with Ice is because Ice is already weak to fighting, turning the 2 times weakness into a 4 times weakness. Normal also is completely useless when it comes to resistances, as it doesn't resist a single type. That means that pairing Ice and Normal together gives a whopping 1 resistance and 1 immunity, which is just terrible. Additionally, one of the major weaknesses of Ice-type Pokémon are their inability to deal significant damage to Steel-type Pokémon, something that Normal type cannot aid in. While this type pairing is okay offensively thanks to Ice's good coverage, it's not enough to save it from absolute last place on our list. At number 16 is Bug and Normal, another returning type combo from our worst type Pokemon video. Though not quite as bad as Ice and Normal, this pairing leaves a lot to be desired. Adding the Normal type to Bug trades a Fighting Resistance for a Ghost Immunity, which isn't awful. However, this pair is weak to Fire, Rock, and Flying, all good types. Being able to resist ground is a big deal, however, and if we were looking at these types only defensively, you could probably make a case that it deserves to be higher up on the list. However, we need to consider the types offensively as well. Bug and Normal are only able to hit Grass, Dark, and Psychic for super effective damage. All average types. Fortunately, neither Bug nor Normal can hit either Ghost or Steel types for neutral damage. A Pokémon with this typing would really struggle to make an impact on battles via damage most of the time. Basically, Numbers 17 and 16 are interesting because they take the worst defensive and offensive types and add normal to them, which doesn't change them in a meaningful way. Ideally, you want your secondary type to aid your primary type by covering weaknesses or broadening coverage. Normal is a great secondary type in specific cases, but not when your base type is awful. Anyway, let's move on. Number 15 is normal and poison. Think of this as a slightly better version of bug and normal. Defensively, it has some things going for it, 
It only has two weaknesses to Ground and Psychic. And while Ground is a common offensive type, Psychic normally is towards the bottom of types you have to be wary of. More than just the two weaknesses, this combination has four resistances and an immunity to Ghost. While two of those resistances are Poison and Bug, not super impactful types to resist, the other two are Grass and Fairy. Fairy is debatably the best offensive type in the game, so whenever a Pokemon resists it, it becomes something of note. However, just like Bug Normal before it, Poison Normal really struggles offensively. It's only able to hit Grass and Fairy for super effective damage, a noticeably little amount. The real kicker though is if we look at the types that resist both Normal and Poison. Rock, Ghost, and Steel all boast resistances to both Normal and Poison, making this type combination especially difficult to use offensively. Three resisted types are a huge deal, but Normal Poison barely outperforms Normal and Bug because of the positive matchup into Fairy-type Pokémon. Coming in at number 14, we have Normal and Rock. Sorry, Normal Dual Types, it doesn't make me happy to do this. By the way, is anyone's favorite type actually Normal? I feel like I never meet anyone who feels strongly about the Normal type. Actually, let's just make this the question of the day. Let me know your favorite type in the comments down below. Uh, anyway, Normal and Rock. This pairing is a step up from the previous three, though it still leaves a lot to be desired. Defensively, this pairing is weak to Ground, Steel, Water, and Grass, with a 4 times weakness to Fighting. These are all pretty rough types to be weak to, but the flip side is that you do gain resistances to Normal, Flying, Poison, and Fire, with an immunity to Ghost. And of those, I'd say Fire, Flying, and Ghost especially are good types to resist. Offensively, Normal and Rock can hit Flying, Bug, Ice, and Fire for super effective damage though neither type can hit Steel types. Overall, while pretty bad across the board, there is enough here to warrant this combination a higher placing than the other normal types on this list. It's also worth noting that Rock types get a special defense boost in Sand, which overall raises the viability of the type. Still, I'd say this pair is pretty close to Rock Bottom. Our number 13 slot goes to Dark and Bug. I was actually pretty surprised this type pairing doesn't currently exist, but it turns out Ariados is Poison and Bug. Defensively, the Dark type doesn't really aid in the troubles of Bug types. You end up with 5 weaknesses to Flying, Rock, Bug, Fire, and Fairy, with resistances to Ground, Ghost, Grass, Dark, and an immunity to Psychic. The types that this combination is weak to are, with the exception of Bug, overall significantly stronger than the types it resists. To make matters worse, the offenses are pretty shady too. There's a lot of overlapping type coverage between Dark and Bug as Dark only hits Psychic and Ghost for super effective, and you are already hitting Psychic with Bug. This means that this combination can only hit Ghost, Grass, Psychic, and Dark for super effective damage. To make matters worse, both Fairy and Fighting types resist Bug and Dark. Overall, this pairing manages to not enhance either of the individual types, and really just drags them both down. Number 12 is Ice and Poison, pairing the worst defensive type with one of the worst offensive types. Somehow, pairing these types together allows them to meet in the middle, somewhat. Adding Ice to Poison results in 5 weaknesses, to Ground, Rock, Steel, Fire, and Psychic, while also granting 5 resistances to Poison, Bug, Ice, Grass, and Fairy. This is a somewhat well-balanced spread, as overall the types the combo is weak to are stronger than the types it resists, but this is balanced somewhat by being able to resist Fairy Pokemon's attacks, and by the ability to hit both Fairy and Dragon types for super effective damage. Offensively, this combination is able to hit 5 types for super effective damage. Flying, Ground, Grass, Dragon, and Fairy. These are some of the absolute best types that you can deal super effective damage to, in my opinion. Unfortunately, neither type is able to hit Steel types once again. While this pair has a lot going for it offensively, it shouldn't be understated that the specific types it's weak to make it difficult to use defensively. That being said, the offensive coverage is quite good. If a fast, frail, powerful special attacker were to be given this type combination, I could definitely see it getting some play. Number 11 is Bug and Dragon, which I personally hope they make at some point because I think it's such a cool concept. Bug and Dragon yield 5 weaknesses to Flying, Rock, Ice, Dragon, and Fairy, while resisting Fighting, Ground, Water, Electric, and Double Resisting Grass. While this might look like you just made the dragon type worse, I think there is something really interesting about this pairing and that you gain a resistance to ground without increasing your ice weakness. The other two types dragon can pair with to resist ground are grass and flying, and both turn the ice weakness into a 4 times weakness. Additionally, while bug dragon is weak to 5 notable types, it's worth noting that steel resists every single one of those, and even hits 3 of them back for super effective damage. I think this pokemon could absolutely be good if given a chance to fly. 
Gone, however, are some of Dragon's more traditional offenses with the Bug Pairing. As although you're able to hit Dragon, Grass, Psychic, and Dark for super effective damage, both Fairy and Steel resist both stabs. While certainly not Dragon's most potent pairing, I think Bug could bring some unique things to the table, allowing this combination to land towards the middle of the pack. Coming in at number 10, we have another Normal Dual type. Normal and Steel are an interesting pairing. In exchange for an immunity to Ghost, you double your weakness to Fighting. This pair also has weaknesses to Ground and Fire, and resistances to Normal, Flying, Rock, Bug, Steel, Grass, Psychic, Ice, Fairy, Dragon, and an additional immunity to Poison. That's a whopping 10 resistances, 2 immunities, 3 weaknesses, and 3 neutral types. Tied for the most possible resistances and immunities with Steel Ghost and Steel Electric. To understand why this pairing isn't ranked higher, we have to look at the offenses. Steel Normal is only able to hit Rock, Ice, and Fairy for super effective damage. And like literally every single combination on this list so far, except for Bug and Dark, neither type is able to hit Steel for even neutral damage. In short, the reason this combination isn't higher up on this list is because although it has a wide array of resistances, the 4 times weakness to fighting and the poor offensive coverage make it difficult to use offensively. Given the right move pool, stats, and metagame, a Pokemon with this pairing could absolutely be a pain to deal with. Number 9 is a combination that feels like it already exists, but it doesn't. Fighting and Ground are an interesting pairing, with pronounced strengths and weaknesses. Weak to Flying, Water, Grass, Psychic, Ice, and Fairy, the defensive aspect of this combination is somewhat shored up by resistances to Poison, Bug, and Dark, with a 4 times resistance to Rock and an immunity to Electric. Immunities are very valuable in Pokemon, and immunity to Electric attacks is one of the best ones. Despite that, most of the resistances in this combination are pretty useless, and the weaknesses all feature prominent types. The real strength of this combo lies in the offense. Fighting and Ground are able to hit 8 types for super effective damage, and Normal, Poison, Rock, Steel, Fire, Electric, Ice, and Dark. Neither type is able to hit Flying types or Bug types for neutral damage, however. To me, this pairing feels a bit like a Glass Cannon kind of Pokemon. You don't have great defenses, but thanks to how well you do against Rock and Electric attacks, there should be room to switch it in. You threaten a lot of types offensively with Fighting and Ground. So if you build your team around removing the counters, I think this pair could really shine on a Pokemon with the requisite damage and speed to make it work. Our number 8 spot goes to what I imagine is one of the most popular fan requested pairings, Fire and Grass. I love this combination thematically, combining two of the most recognizable types that don't intuitively make any sense together. It's also rather interesting when we look at it from a competitive standpoint. Only 3 weaknesses to Flying, Poison, and Rock yet only 4 resistances to Steel, Electric, Fairy, and a 4 times resistance to Grass. This set of weaknesses and resistances is interesting because a vast majority of the popular offensive types are neutral here, though being able to resist Fairy and Electric is normally very valuable. Offensively, this type combination has pretty good synergy. Grass is able to hit the Water and Rock types that Fire types struggle against, and Fire is able to hit the Grass, Bug, and Steel types that Grass types have a hard time hitting. On top of those 5 types, you also hit both Ground and Ice for super effective damage. Unfortunately, both Dragon and Fire resist both of this combination's stabs, which loses it points. Overall, this combination is solid. It lacks too many resistances, but its weaknesses aren't numerous, and although it struggles to hit 2 types, it does manage to hit a fairly wide range for super effective damage. I think for a Pokemon with this typing to shine, it would fall into the bulky offense category with decent speed, above average offense, and good defensive capabilities. Number 7 is Poison and Steel, which is another type I could have sworn existed already. Poison and Steel are two defensive types, and combining them can make for a Pokemon that's a pain to remove. This pairing has a 4 times weakness to ground and a 2 times weakness to fire, and that's it. In exchange, you get some really interesting resistances. 6 normal resistances to normal, flying, rock, Steel, Ice, and Dragon would be enough to make a type viable on its own, but there's even more. A whopping 3 4 times resistances in Bug, Grass, and Fairy, and on top of it all, an immunity to Poison. That's 2 weaknesses in exchange for 6 resistances, 3 4 times resistances, and an immunity. Having a 4 times resistance to Fairy is also a big deal in particular, as is a 4 times resistance to Grass and resistances to Rock, Ice, Flying, and Dragon. Offensively, this type combination isn't as strong. It deals super effective damage to Rock, Grass, Ice, and Fairy, and once again, neither type can damage Steel. This type seems like such an interesting pairing for a supportive defensive Pokemon, especially with good utility. 
As long as you can keep it away from ground type attacks, it will probably be really difficult to remove. This is one of the types I'm most excited to see in action one day. Number 6 goes to an interesting pairing, Ghost and Rock. This is an interesting offensive pairing that takes advantage of Ghost type's immunities to allow for more survivability. Defensively, the pair struggles a bit. Six weaknesses to Ground, Ghost, Steel, Water, Grass, and Dark. A non-trivial amount. In exchange, you get resistances to Flying, Bug, and Fire, a 4 times resistance to Poison, and immunities to Normal and Fighting. You also get the Rock-type benefit of Sandstorm, making this pair bulkier when Sand is up. Offensively, this type combination hits 6 types for super effective damage. Flying, Bug, Ghost, Fire, Psychic, and Ice. And for the first time on our list, there is no single type in the game that resists both Ghost and Rock. For a Pokemon with this typing to do well, it would probably be a fast special attacker, with enough bulk to avoid getting one shot most of the time. It could use its immunities to switch in under the right circumstances, and its immunity to fake out and good offensive coverage to threaten anything it hits for super effective damage. In the sand, it would ideally be bulky enough to make it a pain to remove with neutral special attacks. This is a really interesting offensive type that could absolutely shine under the right circumstances. Our number 5 slot goes to our first, and not last, fairy type combination, fairy and fighting. This is another type combo that shines offensively. Defensively, however, it struggles a bit. 5 weaknesses to flying, poison, steel, psychic, and fairy, in exchange for resistances to fighting and rock, 4 times resistances to bug and dark, and an immunity to dragon. Overall, the types this pairing is weak to are better than the types it resists, but the two 4 times resists and an immunity are pretty valuable defensively. The real magic of this pairing comes from the offense, however. You are able to hit 7 types for super effective damage in Normal, Fighting, Rock, Steel, Ice, Dragon, and Dark. Unfortunately, neither type is able to hit poison types. This combination would probably be best served on a powerful physical attacker that had access to moves like Close Combat and Play Rough. It uses Fighting's dual type to break one of Fairy's most common answers, Steel, and is also able to hit Fire types for neutral damage. Fairy is already very difficult to switch into, and adding a type that can widen the scope of Pokemon you threaten is a very big deal. If the right Pokemon had this typing, it could absolutely be a major threat. Our number 4 slot goes to a really exciting combination, Electric and Fighting. This pairing somehow ends up remarkably balanced. Defensively, it only has 3 types capable of hitting it for super effective damage, in Ground, Psychic, and Fairy. In exchange, you get resistances to Rock, Bug, Steel, Electric, and Dark. I would say this probably ends up as a neutral defensive balance. Although you sport 2 more resistances than weaknesses, Ground and Fairy are better types than Bug, Dark, and Steel to resist. Offensively, this pair does well. You're able to hit 7 types for super effective damage, with Normal, Flying, Rock, Steel, Water, Ice, and Dark all under pressure. And there is no single type in the game that can resist both Fighting and Electric. This is an exciting combination, but I think in order for a Pokemon to do well with it, either Electric would need a better physical move, or Fighting would need a better special move. Or the Pokemon would need some special signature move to make it work. That being said, I can see a Pokemon that's fast and not too frail doing very well with this typing, due to the wide array of types it threatens and narrow set of weaknesses. Number 3 on our list goes to Fire and Fairy. This combination does a good job in shifting some of the relationships with Fairy types, creating a Fairy type with a different set of weaknesses and resistances that can still fill a similar role. This pairing has 4 weaknesses, to Poison, Ground, Rock, and Water aka all of Fire's weaknesses but with an additional Poison one added on. In exchange, however, you get 6 resistances to Fighting, Fire, Grass, Ice, Dark, Fairy, and a 4 times resistance to Bug, in addition to an immunity to Dragon. This is far superior to Fire's original set of resistances, and all you had to trade to get it is a Poison weakness. Offensively, this pair is similar to Fighting and Fairy in that it uses Fire types to overcome Steel types intended to resist strong Fairy type attacks. This pair is able to hit 7 types for super effective damage, in Fighting, Bug, Steel, Grass, Ice, Dragon, and Dark, though neither type is able to do neutral damage to opposing fire types. For a Pokemon with this typing to succeed, I think it would ideally be a bulky special attacker that could be used with speed control like Tailwind or Trick Room. Moonblast, Flamethrower, Heatwave, and Overheat are all good coverage moves, and with the right support can be very difficult to switch into. I wouldn't be surprised if we got this typing soon, as both Water Fairy and Grass Fairy have existed for a few generations now. 
Our last two tapes on our list were featured in my best type combination video, so if you want to see more about them, feel free to check that out. Our number two slot goes to Ferry and Ground, a terrifying offensive combination. Ground is the perfect offensive partner for Ferry, but let's talk about the defensive aspect of this combination first. This pair has four weaknesses to steel, water, grass, and ice, and four resistances to fighting, rock, bug, and dark. It also boasts two immunities to electric and dragon. Having two immunities to good types is a big deal on its own, but the real magic happens when we look at this pairing offensively. It's worth noting that Groudon and Xerneas have been the premier restricted Pokemon duo when they're legal, in part because the individual Pokemon are good, but also in part because of how dangerous the types are when paired together offensively. Fairy is only resisted by three types, Poison, Fire, and Steel, and Ground is able to hit all three of those types not for neutral damage, but for super effective. There is no individual type in the game that can resist both Fairy and Ground. This pairing hits eight types for super effective damage, in Fighting, Poison, Rock, Steel, Fire, Electric, Dragon, and Dark. For a Pokemon with this type combination to succeed, it would pretty much just need a good special attack stat, access to Moonblast and Earth Power, and either enough bulk to stick around and work with speed control, or enough speed to outspeed things and do big damage. I'm personally hoping for a Dunsparce evolution with this typing at some point. And finally, our number one slot. This won't be relevant for much longer with Legends Arceus coming out soon, but the number one slot goes to Normal and Ghost. This is a really interesting combination that excels at hitting things for neutral damage, and abusing its immunities to make it difficult to hit. Defensively, this pair has a whopping one weakness to dark. That's it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> its two resistances to poison and bug are pretty underwhelming, but immunities to normal, fighting, and ghost make up for it. Offensively, the type combination hits only ghost and psychic for super effective damage, but no type resists both normal and ghost. For a Pokemon to succeed with this typing, it really wants to be a bundle of stats. As it lacks good resistances, you're hoping to make up for it with middling to above average bulk, and a good enough offensive stat to allow field presence. I don't personally have a ton of faith in Hisui and Zoroark being good, as typically regional variants have the same stat totals as their counterparts, but if the stats end up in the right places, I could be wrong. Overall, this typing shines with its numerous resistances and good offensive abilities making it difficult to switch into as long as it's positioned well. And that's the whole list! This is way more types than I've ever done before, and it took a lot of work, so if you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments and consider subscribing. There's a part of me that wants to rank every existing type combination next, but that's over 100 types and would be a ton of work, so we'll see. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Um, it's me. <laughs> World Chip Difference, baby.